Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got another user submitted question and it was they have a whole batch of pictures to process to resize. Uh, they want to take them down so that they can uh, send them off, you know, through the web and that. And the originals are just way too large to be, you know, emailing or sending photos to, to clients and that. So they wanted to know how and was the best way to do batch processing within Photoshop. And so that's what we're going to cover today. And believe it or not, piece of cake, really easy to do. So I'm going to do a little prep step here. I'm going to minimize Photoshop and I made two folders. I have one called the original images. And we put some images in here. Okay. And these are the ones we want to batch process. Okay, so we open them up. We we want all of these batch processed. Okay, the second folder I made, I just named it uh, resized underscore 800 pics because that was the requirement of the the customer. They want to turn around and they want their pictures to be uh, resized to 800 pixels. So, and that's an empty folder. Okay, so. That's your prep work, okay? So set up a, a separate uh, folder with your images that you want to resize, and then make another folder that where you're gonna have the resized images be saved. All right, easy enough, right? All right, so let's go back into Photoshop. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we're gonna use what's called the image processor of Photoshop. So where do we go? File. Then down to scripts, then down to image processor. Okay. And now we're going to say, okay, first step, select the images to process. Okay. We can select images that are already open or we could select a folder. So if I select a folder, I could select that folder that's on the desktop, which is the originals. Okay. So I'll select that. And so now that's done. We are taking from the originals. Now step number two, select the location to save the processed images. We could go in the same location, but I don't ever recommend that because you don't ever want to overwrite your originals. So I would select a folder. Okay. So select a folder and then I'm going to again, select that resized folder because that's empty. And that's why I want all the new folders to go. All right, so now we have that. So we have our source, our destination, and now we have to choose. Do we want them saved as JPEGs? Do we want them saved as PSDs? Or do we want them saved as TIFF, okay? For the web and everything, I want to have them saved as J JPGs. So, and I'm going to put a quality of, say, seven is a nice number. And now the big thing is I got to check resize. All right, so now this confuses people all the time. So I'm going to put this as clearly as I can because really, really Adobe should have done a little better job on that dialogue uh, thing. The width and the height, okay? This is not, okay, I'm going to say here, best way to explain it. If I chose 800, all right, and 800, this is not going to make your images square, okay? A lot of people get confused on that and they go, I don't want my images to come out square. And that's not what we're telling Adobe here. We're telling Adobe, hey, for the width, we don't want it any bigger than 800. And the height, same rule. We don't want it to be exceeding this, okay? So, Adobe is going to turn around and look at the image and say, what's the width? And if the width is greater than 800, it's going to resize the image. If the height is greater than 800, it's going to resize the image. So think of these values as limits and not sizes of redesigning, okay? So it's not going to make square images by doing this. All it's going to do is go resize the image so that it meets this criteria. So 800, that will work for our landscape photos 
and 800 in the height will work if we have any portrait images. All right, and again, they are limits, okay? All right, so we have that set there, 7%, all right? And everything is good, and we just simply hit run. And it's gonna run through the images, and as fast as you, uh, your computer is, it's going to turn around and finish up, okay? If you have a slow computer, this may take a few minutes. If you're doing a thousand images, well, it, you may want to get a cup of coffee. But here we are. We're done. Okay. It ran through all those images. Now I'm just going to minimize Photoshop. And now we're going to go into that resized folder, right? And there's our JPEG folder that we made. And look at that. There's all the images resized. And look how small they are. Right? And we could uh, we could turn around and open them up as a sample thing. We can see that, all right. We can open up in a preview and we can go in and say, okay, how big is the image? And you can see it's not anything over 800. See the height and width are under those. So it automatically sized it and compressed the images to our instructions. So we're all perfect and look how small they are. Now these are all easily done now if i compare them to the originals okay you could see that the original is much here it is the original it's over 711 kilobytes and the image here that's been reduced is down to 100 kilobytes all right so we've saved a tremendous amount of space so that's the advantage there and that's how easy it was to process it okay so that's how easy it is to do batch processing within Photoshop. All right, till next week, you guys take care.